to week number 18 of the pregnancy. It's a really exciting time. Um, I'm delighted you can join me and hello to um, everybody and um, thank you so much for watching and thank you to those who subscribed. If you want to subscribe, please do. Um, you can follow along. I'm trying to do a week by week of the pregnancy. So um, please do follow along with me, um, particularly any new mothers, first time mothers, but also any mothers that have been through it before. I'd be so grateful for your advice, tips, hints and everything. So um, anyway, let's crack on. So this week, um, in terms of symptoms, I would say I am... Um, the, one of the things is, is I, I've noticed a lot of people on the Facebook group that I follow, um, the private Facebook group, um, is a lot of the women now have started to feel baby kicking. Now for me, I don't know if I'm feeling the baby kicking or I'm digesting food. It just feels like like tiny little thumps occasionally. Um, or it's... I've, people keep saying butterflies I felt nothing like butterflies so I'm like maybe I'm not feeling it maybe and it's really low down and in the pelvis is where I'm feeling every time so um, I'm really not sure if what I'm feeling I'm getting a bit concerned because everybody else is like oh my god I'm 15 weeks I'm 16 weeks I'm 17 and I'm like oh my god I'm 18 weeks I'm still not feeling anything now I know they say for first time mums it can be a lot later it can go up to even 25 weeks and you don't feel anything but it does have me just a little bit concerned um, we'll see so yeah I'm just getting a little bit nervous about that um, and another thing else this week is I've been getting the pains again I've been getting I've been feeling very um, clogged <laughs> I know that that's an issue during pregnancy um, things don't quite digest in the way they usually do and I've been trying prune juice I've been trying drinking more water I've been uh, trying orange juice and um, I've changed up my diet um, I'm actually starting to track what I'm eating now just just because actually it's really 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 painful um, it can be really I'm like doubled over in agony at times I'm mean, unable to sleep so um, Gosh, if any of you have any advice on how to help get things moving, <laughs> as it were, um, that would be much appreciated and certainly ease the bloating. Because, um, my God, it's, it's so painful. It's ridiculous. It's, it's utterly ridiculous. So, yes, I would very, very much appreciate any comments, any, any assistance, any private messages, anything you want to tell send to me please do because I'm kind of desperate um so yeah in terms of pregnancy symptoms I'd say that's probably the biggest thing um is the baby feeling the baby I'm not sure if I am and um yeah the, the pain of the, the gas oh my god um uh, yeah and I think for me it's kind of like more of just a countdown now for the 20 week scan unfortunately this week we've had um a member of the face of the group as well she's had a few issues um unfortunately she's gonna have to terminate her pregnancy at 20 weeks and that's just heart heartbreaking um she doesn't have an option the baby's not gonna live and it's in, you know they believe it to be in pain so um heart heartbreaking i just don't quite know what to say so it kind of brings it home as much as it's painful, as much as this is difficult, and as as much as it is something that's. I, I know some people absolutely love pregnancy, um, and some others find it a means to an end. Um, no matter how you find your pregnancy, um, you're still so grateful for having this being inside you um, and knowing that you're going to meet him or her or her at the end of this um, so yeah I just my heart breaks for anybody that has to go through that and um, my heart goes out to her it's, it's, it must be clearly a very very difficult time um, so yeah I think that, that kind of um, and that only happened only with that literally just shortly before I came on here um, and it kind of brought a lot home with me because one thing again I was going to talk about is I've been quite struggling with um, hormones and getting upset and kind of feeling quite down. Um, 
Uh, I don't know if any of you seen from the beginning, but w w my story is that I've um, recently, so um, my fiance and I, we got married earlier in the year, so in February, we actively started trying, got pregnant really quickly. We weren't living together at the point we got engaged, so I moved in with him. Um, and then a month later we got pregnant and I kind of moved from one side of London to the other side of London um, away from my friends and family and I know that doesn't sound too far but it's so uh, it's an hour and a half each way to see friends and family which when you become pregnant is quite difficult because you could I feel quite isolated at times here um, as much as I love it I <laughs> beautiful home um and david is just the most kind loving amazing incredible fiance a girl could ever ask for i i couldn't have imagined or drawn um so like what was the cartoon the penny where she used to have the cartoon and draw the characters um anyway i couldn't have asked somebody ask for somebody better than david and he's got lovely friends and things in the area um but being pregnant, I, I'm, I'm not able to do necessarily the things that I would normally do. So I would usually try and join um, groups. And for me, that usually consists of an exercise group. So when I first became single a few years ago, I, I took up running and then I took up yoga. Um, and they do have art classes and things like that. I, I did, I studied fashion, I studied and um, it's something that interests me. I'm not very, even though I did study it, I'm not very good at um, being taught how to draw. I kind of like, it's a hobby that I enjoy. Um, so I did look into doing something, a massage course that doesn't start for another few months. Um, and I guess just, it just, you end up feeling quite lonely. Now I'm going to start yoga. Um, I'm going to start pregnancy yoga, which I did try before um, with pains and things. It seems to be whenever I exercise, I've really struggled with that. So, um, and also I think you just feel quite vulnerable. So David and I, obviously, we are joining our finances and um, I have booked my maternity leave, um, which will be for at least a year, um, perhaps longer. And it's weird for me, somebody who's been working their whole adult lives, earning their own money, um, I'm very self-sufficient. So I've never relied on my parents or um, my family or a partner to support me. I've always worked um, and I, I, I feel I feel quite vulnerable putting myself in a position where somebody's essentially helping take care of me. Now I know I'm in the same breath, I know and I'm fully aware that I will be raising our child. It's not like I'm not doing a job and that takes two people to create a child and we both really want her and we're so delighted. Um, but it's just a weird change in dynamic. So I think at the moment, and we're also planning our wedding <laughs> next year, so we've booked dates and things like that. Um, and you just feel quite vulnerable um, when you're pregnant. And I think it's a lot that I'm taking on all at once. And I know that I've been feeling quite low and um, I, I, I can't do the things that I usually do, like I say, um, or go out drinking with people. Like even some of David's friends, David's friends who are girls uh, in particular, like just being, oh, let's go for a drink or let's do this. Or before I got pregnant, a couple of them were like, let's do yoga together. And obviously now I have to change stuff to yoga because I'm doing things like, um, it just, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's feeling a little bit tough and I'm, I'm sure it will get better. Um, the timing of it, I couldn't ask for our little girl to be coming at a better time than she is, you know, in terms of, we both really want to meet her as soon as possible and we are you know it's perfect timing for the wedding and there are so many incredible things like I could, it's incredible I think the only thing for me is the timing of it meant that I couldn't really settle in this area well enough first prior to having a baby to feel confident and have my own groups of friends some kind of I, I don't like being reliant on anybody and at the moment I feel quite reliant on David and even though he makes it as wonderful and incredible a, a transition as possible I am still kind of struggling with that so that's probably something I've been dealing with this week um but I am not one to dwell uh, or I am but I, I also don't dwell and don't do anything about it so 
I have found a course, like I say, it's a massage course that I'll be starting in November, which is really exciting. Um, I found a different pregnancy yoga course because I've had a few girls, um, some of David's friends who have been pregnant in the past, have said they've met people through this particular yoga group. So um, it's really like-minded, lovely people. So I'm gonna be doing that as well. Um, I've also, and I, I don't know why people find there's a stigma attached to this. I've reached back out to my therapist it's I, I'm having about to have a baby I mean my whole life is about to change and it's a massive transition and um she helps me so I I, I, I also I, I I'm fully aware that I'm very very lucky and privileged to be in a position where I can do that um she's amazing um I also get it through work so I'm very lucky in that regard um because it's not cheap to go to therapy um but yeah it's it's something that if you can afford it, I would just recommend um, when you're going through any big life transition. Um, and all of the stuff I'm going through is amazing. It's, you know, getting married, having a baby, got moved move to an incredible new home. And with my biggest issue is making new friends. It's not money, it's not health, it's not anything difficult, but it's still a transition. So um, yeah, that's something that if you can um, and if you can't you know um, just make sure reach out that you've got a support system and that you're doing stuff for yourself that you're not completely losing yourself in the pregnancy because I I think that that's quite an easy thing to do and I think the further down the line I get with it um, the more I can see how that can become a focus of your life and that's not really something that you would want to do you know, like just just have one Thing being your life so yes I, I'm so excited about meeting her <laughs> I can't express to you and I'm so excited about getting married um, to David and our lives they've already started together I mean it's not saying starting our lives together because it's already started we, we, we live together and we're very much in love so um, but it's just another chapter and um, I'm so excited about all these things but it's overwhelming and I think if you're a mum or a mum to be and you're feeling overwhelmed just no you're not alone <laughs> um yeah I mean there are times like where I'll just start crying um <laughs> I'm like oh my god um but it does get better and it does turn around and just be kind to yourself so I think that's my biggest message for this week um be kind be loving to yourself um and sorry if I've rambled on about just feeling a bit blue I think it's because it's something that I've been coping with and um but it's you know and, and but the best thing you can do and the best thing can be is to get some help so that's exactly what I'm doing anyway um thank you so much for listening and um yeah just thank you and I hope to see you next week or I hope you tune in next week please do click subscribe if you would like any further updates on the things that I'm doing um, and yeah comment down below if there's anything you want me to talk about I'll ditch you talk about anything so <laughs> I'll try anyway um, but yes thank you so much and I look forward to speaking to you next week okay thank you bye bye